I wanted to know if an AI agent could actually make money for me. So I asked Manus to run a real business. No fancy setup, no experience, just me, a keyboard, and supposedly the smartest AI agent on the internet. But what happened next, I did not expect. All right guys, I'm gonna be giving you access to some done for you prompts that I'm gonna be using today in this video. They work with Manus, ChatGPT, and DeepSeek. Specifically in this video, we'll use Manus and DeepSeek. But anyways, if you want these prompts, I put together a full Google Doc. All you need to do is comment yes on this video. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the like button. I will reply then and send over the free Google Doc for you so that you can follow along. So the very first thing I did was I hopped over to DeepSeek and I asked it, what's the best way to monetize a platform like Google Maps? And it gave me some different ideas but one of the ideas that I really liked was called a free mini audit. And what a free mini audit does is it gives them a taste of the different things that might be wrong with their Google Maps listing that if they fixed, they could rank higher in Google. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this free AI agent Manus to go out there and do these mini audits and find us clients and then we're gonna upsell them to fix all of the problems that are wrong with it. Now, if you're not sure how to fix the problems that it finds, I will attach another free workshop in the description of this video that you can attend and learn how to fix all of the problems and uh, I put it together for you. So you can go check it out if you don't know how to fix the things that it finds. But with that being said, the first thing that we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to find someone to do this mini audit on. And actually I found that even though it says mini audit, it actually does a pretty thorough extensive audit, which is kind of cool. But just go and pick a niche and I put together in the Google Doc that you can get for free some example niches here of what you wanna look for and then the type of listings to look for. You wanna look for listings that maybe have no reviews or very few reviews, no website listed, um, no photos or bad photos, if they're unclaimed or if they have incomplete hours and info. Now it doesn't have to have all of these things, but if you can find a listing, you know, just come here and click more businesses. If you can find a listing that has some of those things wrong, that's gonna be a good target. Like here, you can see this one has no website attached to it, Orlando HVAC air conditioning. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the prompt right here in step number three, and you're gonna copy and paste it. And I put in brackets the things that you're going to need to replace in the prompt. So right here it says business name, you're gonna replace that with the business you wanna run the audit on. So we would replace that with Orlando HVAC air conditioning. So run that prompt inside of Manus, and I went ahead and I did this ahead of time for you guys just because I don't wanna make you have to sit here and wait for it. I'm not gonna say that it's super slow, but it's also not you know, abnormally fast either. It takes about five minutes, it runs about an eight step audit, and then it spits out a Google Doc here that you can then hand off to the business owner. Now. I'll explain what's covered in it, but just know that you can run this audit with Manus in the background while you're doing something else. So you can just leave the tab open, you can be working on something else, or you could just leave your computer running and go off and do something else, like take a lap in your swimming pool or whatever else it is that you like to do for fun. But anyways, what it does is it gives this very nice audit here and it gives all of the like information you'd expect it to give, like the business name, the category, shows their ratings and all that stuff, their address. But what we're really interested in is these different um, observations that it finds. And these observations are things that are wrong with our Google Maps listing that they could be doing better on. So right here you can see it points out some customer review things that if they would mention common terms like, you know, technician or diagnosed, duct, these keywords highlight areas that customers frequently comment on. So if they had reviews that mentioned other things like maybe HVAC or air conditioning and things like that, they obviously would rank better in Google Maps. So this is something to keep in mind and something that you know you can easily point out to them. It does show that they have some issues going on with their, um, their um, photos. It says their existing photos are a good start, but they should really get some team photos in there, some work in progress shots, and some completed projects. Um, they put together this section here, and this is the most important section. It's the areas for improvement. So let, let's check out this one, inconsistency in online estimates. Now, I was really impressed by this because this is something that even doing manually, you might not uncover because you just don't really pay attention to some of these little details. So the observation was that the initial search result indicated that they have online estimates not available, but when you went to the about section of their Google Maps listing, 
So that would be like when you click on it and actually like go through and read the about section. So when you go through and read it, it says that they do provide online estimates. So this uh, discrepancy between the two, there's no consistency there, is confusing Google Maps and in turn that's hurting their ranking. So the goal is, is to present them with this audit of these things and it found like four or five things that they could fix. And by fixing those things, when someone searches for HVAC Orlando, they will then show up here at the top, which they're not right now. So that right now they're losing customers to these companies right here by not fixing those things. So the goal is, is to do this free audit for them and Manus does all the work, you don't have to do anything, and then you present them with it and basically it's a goodwill reciprocity thing. They're gonna realize, hey, he gave me all of this stuff, but I need someone to fix it now. I don't know how to fix it, or I don't want to fix it, or I don't have the time to fix it. And that's where you come in. So what you can do is you can charge them a thousand to two thousand dollars a month is what most of our um, customers charge to fix this stuff for clients because it's stuff that they can do on an ongoing basis. What I mean by that is like the review section, right? They can constantly be responding to reviews with different keywords. They can constantly be adding posts to their Google Maps listing. And what that's gonna do is that's going to keep their listing boosted up high. So if you're not sure how to fix any of this stuff, again, I will leave a link to that free workshop in the description of this video. And then you can go and, and learn how to fix all of that stuff. But we need to learn how to actually get them to agree to have us fix this stuff. And that's where our next done for you prompt comes in. So back over to the Google Doc that I'm giving you access to here when you reply yes in the comment box and make sure that you're subscribed here to the channel. If we scroll down, we have this prompt that you can use for DeepSeek. Now this prompt will also work for other AI tools as well like ChatGPT or Grok. So if you're not a fan of using DeepSeek, that's okay. But this is the prompt. We have one thing we need to replace and that's the niche here. So we're gonna copy it, head over to DeepSeek and we're going to create a new chat here. We're gonna paste in the prompt and we're gonna replace the niche with HVAC business owner. Now DeepSeek is gonna go and it's gonna craft an email series for us that we can use for cold outreach that's going to be proven to convert, convert and it's gonna invoke enough, enough curiosity to get this company to reach out to us and look at our audit. And the reason why it works is because it's very personalized. So. Let me show you what I mean. The first template it gave us was subject, quick fix for your HVAC business on Google. Hi, first name, I was checking out business name. So we would swap that out with Orlando HVAC air conditioning. On Google Maps, I noticed a few easy opportunities to get more visibility and calls from local customers. For example, and then we're gonna name off two specific issues. And that's why I said this is personalized. Now again, we don't have to do any of the work here. Deep Seek wrote the email for us, Manus uncovered the problem. So. We can say that they need more photos of their team photos, work in progress and completed work. That could be one observation. The second observation could be that their about section um, isn't in line with the um, results that show that they do online estimates, that it's inconsistent. So we could tell them those two things and then say these small tweaks can make a big difference in attracting more leads. I put together a free two minute audit with a few actionable fixes. Would you like me to send it over? it's helpful, we can hop on a quick call to discuss. Either way, no pressure, and then you leave your information. It's a super straightforward email, and what it's going to do is it's going to show that you're different from all the other companies out there or people out there that are doing this kind of work because you went and did a little bit of work ahead of time. And the cool part is, is I mean, they have no idea that you had Manus, your AI agent of the internet, doing it for you, and that's why I think that this is such a powerful strategy that you can utilize and implement today. So that's the strategy. It came up with a couple more um, templates here for you to go and look at. And again, I am going to leave a link to this complete Google Sheet. If you just reply yes and make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit the like button, I will go and I will send it over. If you have any questions, be sure to comment those as well. But this is a super helpful Google Doc. And then if you need help fixing this stuff or you want more details on getting clients for this kind of work, then be sure to check out the first link in the description to attend my free workshop to go through the training on that. Again, it's 100% free to attend and it breaks down you know, how to fix all this stuff in detail, which I think you'll find really, really helpful. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.